and welcome to I Am Woke. I'm your host, Emelina. Today, we're gonna to be going through an Akashic Records reading and Pleiadian message channel on behalf of humanity for the full moon in Aquarius on July 24th. Here we are coming to you today, merged on behalf of both a Pleiadian and Arcturian collective channel. It is with great delight that we bring to you this message for this full moon. We would like to employ you all to readdress and reassess your actions, your recent actions. To know that for every action, there is an opposite and equal reaction. To know that every action is a movement forward towards your future and what you're looking to create. This is the time to assess where you are and where you're going from the place of where you are right now. To put on a new lens as if you are observing and looking at yourself anew and to assess each action that you take throughout your typical day, your routines, your habits and patterns, and see whether or not they are actually helping you or they may be hurting you or holding you back or contributing to more shadow traits. We would employ you at this time to assess each action that you typically take in your day, starting from when you wake up, going all the way to when you are going to sleep. If you could bring this amount of awareness to each action you take, it will actually convert the subconscious behaviors into conscious behaviors. You'll become aware of things that you don't even realize you're making decisions around and for during your day, of which many of these actions may not be serving you. But until you actually bring your attention to the presence of the actions and choices you're making throughout your day, you have no opportunity to change them, dear ones. Many of you, even many conscious of you, are running around creating unconscious behaviors. Those behaviors generally were created out of childhood patterns, childhood beliefs, things that were modeled to you, acceptable and unacceptable behaviors that you are avoiding through your actions even. For example, let's say in your childhood upbringing, your parents woke up early every day and you woke up early with them. Perhaps this has created a routine habit pattern of waking up early. The flip also could be said, if your parents were waking up early and there was pressure on waking up early, perhaps you have a routine subconscious pattern of sleeping in late when you don't really want to or can't afford the time, the luxury of the time that something like that requires. This is just an example, dear ones. The point is your subconscious beliefs and patterns created habits and actions that you carry forth on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, many of you would say that the beliefs and patterns of your upbringing, that you have let go of many of these patterns, you've let go of the thoughts and the memories of these things, but the memories live in your actions. They move forward with you. You carry the past with you every day based on how you choose to act in any moment. And many of those actions are subconscious, dear ones. Many of you are falling back onto previously established patterns and behaviors that are not truly serving you and that were created a very long time ago. Many of you are carrying your past forward with you in every day and every moment by continuing to engage in certain actions, habits, and patterns that are no longer working. Perhaps they worked for you in the past, but if you were to bring your attention and awareness and presence to these moments now, you would realize that you are not the same person you were five, 10 years ago that you are at this point more developed and no longer need these habits and patterns with you, now is the time to release them, to bring the attention to them, to take a quick audit in your day, you can do this in less than 10 minutes, of what you do during the day, and to say, does this help me or is this old and outdated? What is the root from which that I am carrying forth this behavior? Is it a root of joy and pleasure or is it a root of pain, avoidance and escapism? This is a fantastic time right now to begin to go through and sort through each of your daily steps, your rituals, we would say. For some of you, it is drinking coffee in the morning. Many of you drink coffee in the morning and there's nothing wrong with drinking coffee depending on where the root stems from. Coffee is a perfect example because it is one of those things that most of you reach for without thinking. There's no thought involved in the process. It's a completely subconscious pattern and behavior that you follow through in a rote way and never analyze whether or not you actually need it or whether or not it's actually serving you or whether you're doing it just to fit in. 
This may be triggering. As an adult, many of you do actions to try to fit in with other adults. Some of those actions are taking on a little too much stress gossiping. It could be drinking coffee in the morning. Oh, I need my coffee to feel good. I need my coffee to be awake. I need my coffee so that I can function during the day. Do you have any idea how many of you give up your power to beverages during the day? Whether it's coffee or a Red Bull or a Diet Coke or a cocktail. We almost want to poke fun at you, but we are actually bringing a certain amount of severity to this because it is so clear that your actions, habits, and patterns are supporting disempowered past versions of yourselves. And many of you cling to the disempowerment and refuse to let it go, which will prevent all of the wonderful abundance from coming to you now because you're attached to the subconscious conditioning of these patterns. You're attached to the comfort of reaching to a ritual that once provided you with something you needed. You're attached to the idea that you don't control your reality and that you have to fall back onto things where things just happen to you. People just do things they're not supposed to do. Life is hard, it's arduous. I need my coffee to wake up in the morning. I need my drink in order to relax at night. I need the sugar for the energy in the afternoon. You know, whatever the thing is, we're just asking you to bring attention to that thing. It's not all beverage oriented, although we see this very typically in human behavior. It can be the driving patterns, how you drive to work, what you think while you're driving to work, how you feel about traffic and your rituals in driving. Just look at how you spend your day and then break down the rituals, the things that are totally unconscious, subconscious, you never think about whether or not you're gonna make the decision. You just make it. You just move forward with it. Consciousness is changing and shifting. The moment you bring your attention and awareness to these events, you will very quickly realize what is working for you and what is not working for you. Your results are based on the cumulative effort of your daily repetitive actions. So it is extraordinarily important if you want new results, different results, in the future, tomorrow, next week, next year, that you continually bring conscious awareness to the specific rituals and decisions you make throughout the day, many of which that come from your subconscious mind. Just the act of making them conscious brings the awareness to it. It brings the change to it. You get to make a new decision, a new choice. Without that, you just run on autopilot. You have an autopilot day without the consciousness. And without consciousness, you're missing the inspiration, the spirit, the flow that comes through you, that flows through you. That flow requires your consciousness, your attention in every moment. In order to align yourself to the highest reality, you need to not have subconscious patterns that are running your current reality that you're unaware of. Alignment and flow require flexibility. They require awareness and presence to every moment throughout your day or as many moments as you can bring your attention to, dear ones. This is the lesson at this time for this specific full moon. You can hear in Emelina's voice, this is a little more serious of a tone. And we are imparting this because this is a blended channel with a great amount of Arcturian messaging coming through. And they are a little more toned down, as you would say. As you bring your consciousness to these new decisions, you'll be able to create a new reality moving forward, a new higher set of probabilities for yourself. Your life will improve tremendously. We just want you to bring the attention there so that you can begin to move forward in a way that you prefer and allow the spirit of the universe to work through you as a channel. Each one of you is a conductor of electricity, a conductor of spirit. And if you can get rid of all the things that are preventing you from being in flow and in alignment, your spirit will naturally direct you. It will naturally inspire you into the highest actions and inspire you into the best places and inspire you to be more of yourself so that you can attract everything you need to you effortlessly so that you can be the embodiment and example of what you want to happen to you, how you want people to act towards you so you can become that yourself and it will feel effortless because you will be inspired to do so. This is how momentum builds, dear ones. This is the snowball effect of a beautiful life in the making of the events that you desire to transpire, of all the manifestations you've been actively looking to create. This is how it starts. This is the beginning. This is the process of you building momentum. With this, we feel that our message is complete. Have a wonderful full moon and follow the light.
As always, if you enjoyed this message, please like the video below, leave a comment for me, let me know what resonated with you most. Remember to subscribe and tap the bell for notifications so you don't miss any future energy updates. Until next time, guys, I will see you later.